It's a little more casual day for lawmakers here in St. George as they meet to discuss big picture issues facing Utah. This allows us to just take a breath and look at the issues from a little higher view. There's water and the demands that come with Utah's growth. We've actually seen some of the things that all of us are concerned about, housing, water and health care. Um, and transit. We see that our, our student populations are going to remain static or decline over the next 15 years or so. That's a big change for our state which has been growing so rapidly. You know, how do we deal with that from a budgetary standpoint? Looking at, you know, what is our population going to do? So if it's going to, if we're going to have an older population, how do we deal with the social services that, that are incident to that? The legislature is using this as a chance to get ahead of these issues. So that we're not having to play whack-a-mole like we are with the Great Salt Lake right now. But lawmakers are also looking at something new artificial intelligence. That's something that not many of us know a lot about. It's something that's new. I just started hearing about it a few months ago, it felt like, and I don't even know what it does. I've never used this. The rise of AI is something lawmakers see as an opportunity to innovate. When you think about healthcare, we think about education, there's a lot of potential exciting opportunities there. But it's also something to watch out for. Nick Pelican, the CEO of Peace.ai, says it's fair for people to be concerned about artificial intelligence and it should be regulated on some level. The AI has some of the most incredible promise I've seen out of any tech in my lifetime. Um, but, you know, as I mentioned, there's quite a few concerns around it. So I think really what we need to be doing is finding the minimum possible regulation. Um, what can protect citizens of Utah, what can protect consumers, what can make sure that we're not consoli you know, we're not consolidating power into unaccountable companies while also creating room for innovation. The legislature has had a task force looking at artificial intelligence and you can certainly expect some legislation to be introduced on Capitol Hill to regulate it from data privacy to dealing with deep fakes, which is where voices and faces are mimicked by artificial intelligence. So that's something that we've talked about considerably and I know there's definitely an interest to do something around that. In St. George, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.